It was a somewhat beautiful day on the island of Sordor. Sort of being, you know, different. So Topham Hat was talking to Toby and Percy. Well, judging by Percy, you have you Percy having to do Thomas's work while he's in the works being mended and all. Uh, sir, don't you mean repair? I don't care, Percy. I don't care if you're using the American terminology or the British terminology. All I care is if we make money. Shouldn't Thomas be a gravy train? Shouldn't this show be a gravy train second? Why? I thought we are already a gravy train. You realize we're not making any profit off of this. Damn! Said Sir Topham Hat. Doo 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 doo. And suddenly, a weird, a weird diesel came by. I on the second platform. Yeah! At least my fir the first flare effect was penetrated, said Sir Topham Hat, whose fat face was on the track. Well, who. Well, bother. Well, this is Daisy. Daisy will be taking over, um. Well, Thomas is in. Shall we say. Dispose? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? first thing that came out of Daisy's mouth was, what crap coaches those were, those you have. Annie and Cla Annie, Clarabelle, and Henrietta were in absolute shock. You jerk, said Toby. Well, it's not my fault I'm the, I'm the first female engine. Yeah, so, in future episodes, we're going to have Mavis, Emily, Molly... Don't give any more spoilers, Percy. And the narrator slapped Percy several times over. Over. Was that even necessary? Said Toby. Um. Slightly. After all. Didn't I say you were a jerk? So the narrator slapped Toby several times. That hurt! Well, then you should be made out of metal instead of crap. Out of that crap colored wood. Toby was infuriated. And besides. It's, it's, besides what? said the two engines. It's all in unison. Well, it didn't sound like unison, because this is a narrator! Besides, it's not my fault that I... that I'm, I'm highly strong and remarkably better than you steam engines. Well, it's, um, well, you're a bleepin' diesel, said Percy. Well... Well, steamies and engines don't go together very well. With me, I go with pas passengers and diesels go together like Ash and Misty's relationship. Soon, the passengers, who are all Pokemon fans, and Percy's trained, started to argue about about relationships. No, Ash should be with Dawn. No, Ash is with Misty. May. Uh, uh, better go before they start. Are using guns. Well, they're already having a fist fight. Well, they're already having a fist fight, said Daisy. Percy left. <laughs> durka, durka, durka. Oh, crap! A terrorist, a terrorist Pokemon fan was inside Percy's train. The terrorist blew himself up, up and Percy flew across the yard. Oh! Percy screamed as he, as he flew in the air, and boom goes the Percy.
Mind if I show you the shed kids we have? Said Toby, the unhook from Henrietta. Hmm. Sure. So Toby, whoop, magically, he, he turned himself around. And whoop, Daisy followed. Hey, what about me? Said Henrietta. But Henrietta doesn't have a face. So she, so she was left alone. As the two somewhat idiotic engines. As the two somewhat stupid engines. Moved along to the shed. Well. Said Toby. Here's our sheds. Daisy began to act up. What? You mean those ugly, ugly births? And ran down in sheds. I, as a as a female diesel, should have that shed. Um, that's the repair shed. Thomas was in. There's. Hey, you more. Hey, it's not my fault. I cr uh, oh, the Clefairy climbed to my cabin and made me crash into a bunch of Atari games. And who the heck is there? A new character? Can I see her? See, see it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thomas used a non. Well, the. Well, tell you one thing. I congratulate e the narrator. Yay! Who is a better writer than Sharon Miller? Yay! He. However, not as good as those, those who came up with the Mystery Science Theater 3000. Aww. Well, thank God the narrator used a gender, a non-gender specific word. <laughs> Racist jerk, said Daisy. And magically turned herself around again. Mm. Percy, who magically psh, reappeared with psh, a milk van and turned himself around. This is going to be quite the surprise, said Percy. <laughs> Toby, who was left behind, decided to see Thomas. It's a she, by the way, Thomas. And it's a diesel. What? Said Thomas. Well, we already had a diesel appear already, so... Hmm. Yeah, I guess, said Thomas. Well, it's not that huge of a problem, is it? It's not like we're gonna have another diesel come from the mid... From the... Non-specific... Generic mainland to come and crash through our sheds. Hmm. That already happened in the Audrey books. Damn, said Thomas. However, Daisy was waiting at was waiting. Waiting at the station. Come on already. Ha! Come on already, said Daisy. Ha ha She honked her horn. And several times over to the point where all the past they decided to ignore her. However, little did she know Let's get a good shot here. Screw off, Henrietta. That she was about to have a milk van hooked up, up to, to the back. <laughs> Percy chuckled. Pulling freight cars? Freight cars? Freight cars! <laughs> Drive driver, also Mr. Conductor, also every other driver on the island disorder came out, magically appeared. God darn it! Your Daisy, you blew a fuse! Well, shut it! I've already caused enough trouble. You're acting like a jerk, it's not my fault you're a bleeding diesel. So Sir Tom ma magically appeared. 
I'm back from McDonald's! Then I got Abra blood, so now I know teleport! Bye! <laughs> Daisy was, he was silent after that random moment. Now we're gonna get you, a, need to get you a fitter. Is it a proper one? I don't care, said at him. And so he got ran over again. Nope, oh, wait, didn't get run over. Grumble, grumble, why do I have to be a cameo? Cameo, peanuts of diesel. Paul pulled Daisy away. And the milk cart magically disappeared. <laughs> wait, wait! The milk cart disappeared! The milk cart disappeared! The milk cart disappeared! Uh oh, said Diesel. As they realized, they ran out of Leia. No! <laughs> God. Percy coming out the other end. God darn it! So a giant hand picked up Percy, put him back on top of the conductor. The, the conductor was dead. <laughs> Serves her right. Con er, eight. Ha <laughs> ha, what a loser, ha <laughs> ha. Uh, what a jerk, Daisy. He's a stupid ripoff. <laughs> oh, shut it, said James. <laughs> we seriously need to stop cutting on budget. On the, on the spending. You should seriously have to stop cutting the butt budget for maintenance, said Percy. As before the episode ended, the window crashed. However, due to, to a sudden and winning of the lottery, <laughs> maintenance was at full budget again. Yay, said Percy. He was so excited. He fell off. Percy. Could be worse. At least I wasn't bought by Dr. Forrester. Do 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 do